let's check out Loser by the Grateful Dead. So we're looking at measure number one here. And measure number one has a pickup measure in it, as you can see at the beginning there. When basically what that means is it, it's really for timing. So we're going to play this slide up on this first fret D to second fret D. And you'll, you'll notice that's a slide up on a downstroke. So there's no stroke indicator on the second note there, that second fret D. What I actually like to do when I do that slide up, and this is something that Jerry Garcia does as well, is he will stop the vibration of the string after the slide up. And that's, you know, technically that's like a rest. Okay, and then right after that, he's gonna play the first fret D to open D to third fret A. Okay, what I like to do on this song, like I like to do on a lot of songs, is play out of the actual chord shape. So in this case, we're gonna be playing out of the A minor chord shape here. So we're gonna be kind of using the same fingers that we would maybe use for an A minor or a C chord shape because the A minor and the C are related. So we're gonna play that first fret D slide on a downstroke. I like to play that with my middle finger. And same with that first fret D to open. And then that third fret A, I like to play with my ring finger. And that's gonna lead us to the beginning of what would be the downbeat or measure number one here. So another thing you can kind of do is when you land on that third fret A, you can give it a little bit of a bend. Right before you go into that open A at the beginning of measure number one. And that's just a little bit of nuance that you can add to your playing to, you know, add a little interest, make it sound interesting. Okay, so now we're looking at the beginning of measure number one here, and you'll see that A minor chord shape, which is going to be 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G, and 1st fret B. So we're just going to play that on a downstroke, and you'll notice that this song is starting out with a lot of downstrokes. Continuing on here, you'll notice more downstrokes, and this time we're going to the low E string, open, another downstroke on the third fret low E, and then open again on an upstroke. Now you'll notice with my left hand here, I'm playing that, that low E with my little finger while I'm holding this A minor chord shape. that so I'm, I'm holding the shape because we're playing out of the A minor chord shape at the beginning of measure number one and then I'm just hitting that low bass note that open E to third fret E to open with my little finger here so I'm reaching over and then we're gonna hit that open A as well this is a rhythm part. I mean, it's kind of played as a lead part. It's kind of played as an intro, but I really think about this, this part here as a, as a rhythm part. Like, you know, you're playing rhythm guitar on this part, even though you're playing individual notes. And that's why I'm holding that A minor chord because it, it anchors you and it kind of reminds you of what chord you're on. You don't really have to do a lot of extra work if you need to get back to that chord. All you got to do is just kind of play the lead notes around the open chord shape. Now that's that's leading us to the middle of measure number one. Now you'll notice here there's this is where the whole thing the whole phrase basically starts over and we've just learned the entire phrase. Okay even though we've just learned kind of half of this measure we've actually learned the entire phrase and that's because it repeats. It's kind of on a cycle and if you know this song you'll know that it kind of has that repeating quality to it now you'll notice there I just played the rest of measure number one and it's exactly the same as what we had played in the pickup at the beginning of measure number one with one exception and I think you can probably see what that is when we play that first fret to second fret D slide, 
Remember in the pickup, we were talking about how we do a little pause there. Well, what we're going to do here in the in the middle of measure number one is we're just going to hit that open G. So it's essentially the same lick, but we're just adding in that open G accent note. into measure number two. Okay, so measure number two is essentially the same as measure number one, and what we're really looking at here is we're looking at two variations of the exact same kind of part here. So we're looking at variation number one, which is measure number one, and then variation number two which is the same, but what we're doing is we're adding a little bit of interest to it, or a little bit of nuance to it by just adding one or two notes here and there. So when we look at measure number two here, we're gonna be starting exactly the same as we did in measure number one with the downstroke on the open A, the downstroke on the A minor chord. And when we get to this low E, remember, we're gonna be playing this the same way where we're holding that A minor chord and we're just coming over here with our little finger. So we're gonna be playing on the low E string, we're gonna be playing a down, up, down on the third fret low E, and then up on the open E. So if you look back at measure number one now, we're playing the exact same thing, but we're adding in now an open E where before we had nothing, right? So let's, let's play those two in contrast. So we, measure number one, we did. And then in measure number two here, we're going to be playing. Right, so it's a subtle difference. It's definitely a difference because there's an extra note, but it's a subtle difference. And it, it's really, it's kind of a trick that you can use to spice up a repetitive guitar part. And the audience might not even notice it, but you'll know. And again, you'll notice at the end of measure number two there, we have the same phrase that we have at the end of measure number one, and a repeat sign. So what this means is this repeat sign means that we're going to be playing measures one and two twice, a total of two times. And that's for the intro to Loser. I mean, if you listen to this song, if you listen to the Dead play this song, you'll notice that they play the intro a total of four times. So this phrase that we're learning, you're basically going to repeat that phrase four times. So let's play measures number one and two all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two. One, two, three, four, two, two. 